I've already done my brows and um, apply concealer all over my lid and put some powder on. Um, now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to go in with the shade called Tease, which is this kind of like taupey purple colour. Um, I'm just going to grab a random blending brush. This is the number 7 blending brush just because all of my other blending brushes are in the brush wash. But um, yeah. I'm excited to film this video. I'm feeling on top of the videos. This is great. Da, da, da. So I'm just loading up my brush and then it's tapping off any excess. The light to the left of me keeps flickering. Um, so fingers crossed it doesn't blow up in my face. But yeah, I'm just going to apply this to my lid and check I'm in focus first. Because my camera has this tendency to like show I'm in focus and I move like one inch and I'm out of focus. It's really annoying. Um, which is why all of my intros are in focus and most of the footage isn't. But anyway, I'm just going to blend this into the crease. I'm not going to be too neat with this because I think the most, like, the main focal point of the look is going to be on my lips and the glitter. This is really weird filming, like a talking makeup tutorial. This light is doing my head in. Okay, so I'm just blending that into the crease, windshield wiper motions, little squiggles take some more and then kind of like blend this under the lower lash line you can kind of like squint or look up to make it easier actually do you know what i'm gonna apply quite a lot of this to make it more like a grungy eye yeah like not neat at all just get it on there you know what i'm saying i'm not really a big fan of cool toned shadows but i have this really pretty glitter that i'm going to use for this tutorial that's just like silver and like holographic -y situation. I really wanted to use it. Now that's done, I'm actually going to go ahead and take the black from the palette, which is called Blackout. Um, I'm just taking this random like stiff blending brush. This is from Avon. So any kind of like stiff blending brush will work or even like a little blending brush. I haven't used like a naked palette in so long. I forget how much fallout it has, like just when you swipe the brush in the shadow. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of like pat this into the outer corner. Again, not being too neat with this whatsoever. Just mainly like getting it on there in that situation. And then whatever's left is run under the lower lash line, not taking it all the way in, just kind of like to the middle area. I'm going to cover this kind of whole eye in glitter so it will cover up any like slobby blending. I feel like I look like a kid who's like got into her mum's makeup. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go ahead and just take that same tease colour on my other blending brush and just kind of like blend over the edges. Now I'm going to go in with a super old school classic, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Black Bean, it's just their plain matte black one. And I'm just going to apply it really messily over the lid and then I'm just going to take this little sponge thing. I may regret this because I use this to blend in my eye concealer but we'll give it a go. I'm just going to kind of like tap that in with this little sponge. If you didn't have long nails, you can just use your finger for this. Then I'm gonna go in with a silvery shadow. When you put like cream bases and stuff like this down, the color of the cream base really affects what the shadow looks like. So if you go in for like a neutral skin color, it will just kind of look the same if that makes sense but if you were to apply like a white one a white base it would look brighter a black one looks more like intense 
you know, you get the gist. But I'm going to go in with this um, palette from Sigma. I haven't used this before, and it's called the Nightlife Palette from Camilla Colho. Colho? Colho. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this silver shade right here on one of my Urban Decay brushes. I'm just going to load up brush. This looks lovely. I've never used a shadow before. Tap off the excess. Yes, that's how I pictured it. Okay, cool. All comes together. I bet if someone skipped like a minute in of this video or wherever the actual tutorial starts and I've got this black smudge all over my eye, they'll be like, oh my god, who's that? And I'll be like, trust me. Trust me, it all works out. Then I'm going to take the brush we use to apply the black and kind of like just go really, really softly in the crease. Then I'm going to take a blending brush that doesn't have any shadow on it. And then I'm just kind of like going to go over the edges just to make it a little bit softer. Like especially here, it looks a bit pointy and I don't like it. And just dab every... Dab dab everything in right um for my brow bone i've got this moon child palette here and i think i'm going to go in with a shade which is called um star and it's like a silver um based highlighter we we'll take that on i've just got all like my really old brushes with me um so everyone every the other brushes are drying and I can't be able to like wait for them to dry I just want to get this video filmed um but it probably would look better with better brushes this is like a fake MAC brush that like would probably came from the market or something I don't even know where I got this from um that went on a lot heavier than anticipated but it looks kind of cool you know it's a festival look it's not like something you'd pop on to go to the shop so if you wanted to do that you know by all means do it take in my brush with nothing on it i just kind of like rubbed it on my pajamas yes i'm wearing pajamas on the bottom half the comfort just gonna blend that all in then i'm gonna go in with a liquid liner this is from sleek it's just a dip it liquid liner it's nothing fancy at all you could do a gel liner whatever suits you honeybees um then i'm going to take a map mirror 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 and just kind of like run it along the lash line and then i'm going to do a wing it's going to start by like following so that was really hard to talk um, I just kind of like followed the lower lash line and kind of pulled it outwards and then bring it all back in I'm gonna curl I'm gonna curl my lashes when I like do my voiceovers and stuff like I've definitely got a speech problem because some of the stuff I say doesn't make sense even though you know what I'm talking about like I'll mince over my words so I'll be like I'm gonna just even though you know what I said, but if you went to go translate it, it would make no sense. Anyway, I'm going to curl said lashes with grubby eyelash curler. It's actually disgusting, but you know, it only goes on my eyes, that's all right. Gotta curl my lashes. My lashes are a bit gross at the moment because they're really short and like sparse and stuff just because I've been really stressed so I've been like pulling out my eyelashes um not really like on purpose but just like playing with them like when I'm in bed or something just like going like that and those of them just keep falling out oh I dropped my lash on the floor these lashes I are eyelaw um I think they're called 117 they're the ones that are pre-glued but I still stick glue on them and as they're like pre glue they last for ages just peeling off some of that rank glue you know you gotta, you gotta make the best of what you've got so yeah I'm gonna stick these on these are like fairly like wispy ones they go out of the outer corner any lashes you want to wear will work lashes are on now it's time 
for me face makeup so I'm gonna go in with my favorite primer which is the L'Oreal true match highlight liquid glow illuminator in golden glow I just call it bronze glow L'Oreal because I don't know it's just what I call it but yeah all I literally do is just kind of like squeeze it all over my face Yep, even over the spotty areas, it just looks really nice under the foundation. And then just get to work, blend that out. I'm really sad because I've been to one festival this year and it was um, We Are Festival for my birthday, which was amazing. I'm really annoyed because I wanted to get some good like vlog footage and get ready with me and stuff like that, but it just didn't happen. Um, but I did have such an amazing birthday um i really want to go to hospitality festival which is in september in finsbury park in london it's a drum and bass festival um i've never really heard of it before but it looks really cool if i can afford tickets and stuff like that i really do want to go because it just looks so good into my face oh i hate this when this happens you know when you apply moisturizer and then you apply like a primer or something on top and it goes like all like weird i'm into like drum and bass like edm kind of festivals dance festivals that kind of stuff like i don't think i'd ever really go to like a rock kind of festival it's just not my scene then moving on i'm going to apply some foundation i'm going in with the ex1 foundation or lc foundation Back with my damp beauty sponge, I'm just going to squeeze out some of the foundation. Oh god, it went everywhere. Foundation. I like a lot of foundation, you know. Um, I'm probably going to blend it down. I'm going to probably <laughs> um, blend it down my neck just because I'm quite pale and I don't really have any pale foundations. So we're just working with what we've got, you know. Dab in that out. Dab all over my face. Wow, it looks super orange. It's so hot in my flat right now, like it's boiling. My window is open, so hot. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with like the 30 degree heat in New Orleans. Cause I can barely cope with the 20, like three to 24 degree heat in England. Just gonna use the um, like flat kind of tip of the beauty blender just kind of like wing out the makeup and like neaten it up a little bit that's what I was saying earlier that um like when it comes to looks like this like there's no point worrying about how neat it is because you can literally just fix it with your sponge like dish done looks absolutely fine then I'm gonna go in with a cream concealer to contour this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze I believe yeah I haven't used this in ages whoa that's a lot of contour okay I'm just gonna kind of like dab a little bit on my face you know the usual I do it the same place every single time under my cheekbone down my nose under my lip um, I'm going to blend out the contour with the damp beauty blender I'm going to start with the areas that I've got the less um, like less amount of the concealer just so it's like easier to work with and stuff got it all in my hair look at that lovely um, I was planning on doing silver glitter like down my parting and stuff but um, I need to like have cleanish hair for tomorrow so I've got an interview tomorrow I don't really want to walk in with silver glitter all through my hair I think I'm crazy but you could definitely but if you want to see like some festival hair tutorials then let me know um, there will be festival hair tutorials for absolute beginners because like I am not a hair expert in any way, shape or form, like I can't do Dutch braids, French braids, Swedish braids, Switzerland braids, you know I'm just I'm playing with you, I'm messing with you, but I can't do braids. Well, let me know if you want to do like a festival, like top three easy festival hair tutorials without braids because I could definitely do that, that would be fun actually, and that would be a bit different than doing makeup going to go ahead and apply my concealer 
I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade MW20. MW20? No, oh, MW15. Whoops, a video just gone live earlier on where I said it was MW20. I have to go correct that after I've filmed this video. Wouldn't want people buying the wrong shade now, would we? I'm applying this all under my eyes. Um, to be honest, it's probably not necessary to apply this much concealer under your eyes because I'm going to be applying like glitter under my eyes um, anyway. But it's just kind of like a force of habit and also I feel like if your face makeup looks bomb then the rest of your makeup will also look bomb. You know? Drinking game, you know. Um, then I'm going to apply a straight line down the centre of my nose. Um, Cupid's bow, teeny bit on my chin. So, yeah. I'm just going to focus this by patting in the same place for a while. Just to kind of like thin it out a little bit. And then move it side to side and then whatever's left on the sponge from the concealer will kind of go on my spots and stuff. Lovely. Um, then I'm just going to tap out my forehead, the same kind of thing. Just be very like specific with the patting and one tiny area just to kind of thin out the product at first. And then you can start kind of like moving it upward to blend it out. Sometimes um, if I go to work or something, I'll get a lot of compliments on my makeup if I've done my makeup like full face glam and stuff and they will say your skin looks so nice, like what makeup are you wearing and they literally don't believe me when I tell them how much makeup I've got on. Like it's really it's really not about um, how much how much makeup you have on, it's literally just on how you apply it and kind of like what layers you're doing and that kind of situation. Like, if I have a cream product, I'll always top that up with a powder. So, like, on my face, concealer under my eyes, I'll always put, like, a brighter powder under my eyes to, like, help that set in place and emphasise that. Now my face is severely caked away. Um, I'm going to set that into place using... Oh, my God, what powder could it possibly be? Dun, 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 the real... Um, the real deal which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. I love this stuff, it's like three pounds and it's the best. This is the shade Silky Beige. I honestly just pick up the first shade I find. I'm not very specific on the shades. They're so good. I love this powder. I wish they did it in more shades though because say for example if I had a makeup client that had a darker skin tone, I'd want to use this powder on them because it's the best powder. And the only like universal shade they have is translucent, which is white. That like, they need to do um, some of their powders to suit like mixed rays, black skin tones, Asian skin tones. It would sell so well. Rimmel, if you're watching, which you probably aren't, but if you are, you need to diverse your shade range of this powder because it's the best. What am I going to do? I'm going to contour. That's what I'm going to do after this rambly speech about lack of diversity in makeup products. Um, I'm going to do some contouring. I'm taking this MAC Duo Fiber Brush. Has a bit of fluff on it. Has a bit of fluff. Has a bit of fluff on it. This is the 180. It's all of the numbers have scratched off. I've had this brush for years. Um, but I'm just going in with the shade. It's called Java from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm just going to get to work and contour me some cheekbones. I like looks like this where like, when you first start off it just looks like a whole hot mess but then when you kind of keep working on it, it all comes together. Don't give up guys. If you're doing something a bit out of your comfort zone, whether that just be colour or cool tone, warm tone, whatever that may be, just keep going. It will look good. Promise. Like I hate cool tones like, on me, but the more like I'm, further I'm getting with this makeup looks, the more and more I'm enjoying it. I'm also enjoying using this brush for my contour rather than my Mac 109. Then I'm going to bronze up my face. I'll be taking the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium with my Real Techniques blush brush 
same brush that I just used to um, pop on a bit of that powder. Just going quite heavily like along the temples, top of the forehead. It's basically like on top of where we contoured but just in a bigger portion if that makes sense. Down the nose. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush, not too much, just a little. This is the Corda Rosa brush from Sigma. This is the Sigma Spotlight Duster brush. This video is not sponsored by Sigma, I've just picked up a lot of their products. Um, but I'm just going to apply that to the apple of my cheek and kind of like blending upward. So to finish off my eyes, I'm going in with the Sigma My Life palette. I'm taking same brush I used earlier with a silver colour and I'm literally just going to smudge this super messily oh, under my lower lash line um, and then I'm going to take a tiny bit of black from this palette tap off the excess because I have a feeling it's going to be quite pigmented and apply this on the outer on a section of my lower lash line and then it's cool and then I'm going to go in with that brush that we used for that taupe colour earlier and wipe off the excess on the back of my pyjamas if you don't want to do that obviously you can just use, just use a kitchen roll I'm just going to blend this kind of section together in here. Um, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Metallic Luster Liner in the shade Liquid Silver. I haven't used this before because it's silver and I don't really use silver that much but yeah. I'm going to apply this just in the waterline. Just kind of like round off the look and like just add something different to it. Then I'm going to go in with mascara on my lower lashes. Now is the time to highlight. I'm going to go in with the Moonchild palette and take this shade called Star, which is that silver colour I put on my brow bone. And I'm taking the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. Honestly, this is just going to go everywhere. like not even a tiny bit of highlight this is going everywhere i'm going to start it off on like ooh, ooh, in the main kind of like highlight area if you will i'm going to bring that it's going to look a bit weird but once you put the glitter on it will flow together i'm going to put it all up here on my forehead and then i'm going to take some of that Apply it to my cupid's bow, down the kind of like bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, above my brows. I'm going to set my brows in place and it will also get rid of some of the excess like powder that's gone into the brows. This is the Auburn Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to go in with this I think <laughs> this is just playing it by ear now like I sort of have a vision in my head but it's just kind of carrying that through um I'm gonna go in with the collection glam crystals dazzling, dazzling gel liner in hustle four it's like a silvery shade and I'm just going to don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply this like quite close to the lashes just like randomly and then just like slowly bring it down yeah I like it okay just gonna keep going until like the whole of my under eye is like just covered in glitter yeah, I think I'm going to be missing Love Island. Yeah, Love Island has started six minutes ago. Um, so I think I shall be watching that on Catch Up. Who is your favourite, like, character from Love Island? 
let me know your thoughts in the description box below. I'm obsessed with Love Island. I didn't really watch it last year, um, but this year I am addicted. Although when I go away for two weeks, I'm, I'm gonna miss out on it, you know? This is just, you know, my everyday makeup, wear it to the shop, you know? Um, I don't like the way there's a gap in between my highlight and the glitter, so I'm just going to bring the glitter out further. I'm going to apply some like heavy amounts of this glitter. This is Max Reflex Pearl Glitter to the inner, like, tear duct area of my eye using a Primark face glue. Um, I would recommend using glitter glue, I don't have that and I am stupid enough to use this shit near my eyes, um, but yeah, I'm just going to twist it off, it's all gunky and gross, it's the only thing I have to put on glitter, so we're going to use it, so I'm just going to kind of like dab, oh my god it smells of alcohol so bad, dab that like really, just all in this section, and then kind of like link it up to the um, glitter under my eyes and go in with the MAC Reflex Pearl Glitter yeah I am one big glitter disco ball I wish I was going to a natural festival like some form of a rave or something now most people's hobbies are like you know going out with their friends or um, going shopping my hobbies are sitting at home playing sims and covering my, covering my face in glitter for no apparent reason I've decided I want to apply more of this glitter so I'm taking it all the way down on that triangle section I feel like a space cadet now I've got that done I think what I'm going to do is use this glitter, which is the one that was inspired, that inspired me to do this look, and it is the In Your Dreams Silver Selene Chunky Glitter. It's so freaking pretty. I haven't actually used this glitter yet. Um, I'm going to take that face glue and I'm going to apply it kind of like randomly all over this glitter. So annoying, my camera keeps cutting out. Okay. Where were we? We were applying lots of glitter under my eyes. Now what? I want to apply some gems. So I've just got these random gems. I've had them like just in my makeup box for years. They're literally just they're called like Diamond Crafts five millimeter like gems. You can get them on Amazon really cheap. There's no need to like go out and just buy like just face gems. You can get these for like so cheap. Oh my god, I'm losing them all. Okay, I only have a limited amount, so I think I'm just gonna apply some above my eyebrow let's just start off by doing like one on each side and just see where that takes us so I'm going to do one above my eyebrow trying to make sure I actually have enough gem So, for the rest of the makeup look, I'm going to go in with a black lip. This may make the look amazing, or it could ruin it, we don't know. This is the only black lipstick I have, it's from Barry M. Here you go. Finish off the lips using a lip brush. This is Sigma's Lip um, L05. I love it because it comes with a little kind of like holder, so you can keep it clean in your makeup bag. I 
I am so happy with this. I wasn't going to film, I was like, oh, should I? But then when I do film, I love it. Like, I could sit here for hours and just put on makeup and talk to you guys. Um, hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to take like a silver metallic shadow. I'm going to go in with the silver shadow from the Moon Child palette. Yes, feeling it. And apply it to like the middle of the lip. And it gives this cool like metallic-y effect. Someone just commented on my video. I'll read them out. Lexi16185 commented on my green summer makeup look saying, Can't say it enough, your work is amazing. Well, thank you. Hi, if you're watching, I appreciate your comment. I'm going to reply to some comments when I get a chance. I'm going to apply a white line down the centre of my bottom lip. I'm not too sure if I want to do this, but I guess I can just remove it if I don't like it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial and you had fun, um, got inspired for your festival season or raves or anything like that really. Um, yeah, if you've been to any festivals, let me know down below. I love festivals, so I'd love to talk about them. Um, let me know what videos you want to see and don't forget to hit that big subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. You know how it goes. I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. It's definitely taking off my makeup. I mean, that is what it's supposed to do. Getting all that nose, nicks, and crannies. Good old rump.